Welcome to In the Heat of the Night, a TV series filled with surprises and heartfelt moments. Get ready for a mix of emotions from laughter to shock and even tears. Keep watching for interesting, funny, and sad facts that'll keep you interested. Do you have a favorite scene or character from the show that really stuck with you? Share your thoughts below, we'd love to hear your memories and experiences. So relax and enjoy the journey through in the heat of the night. There's lots to explore and talk about, and your stories are a big part of it all. In the late 1980s, there was a groundbreaking TV series set in the Deep South. It was called In the Heat of the Night, and it was very popular. The show was about crime and social issues in a fictional town called Sparta, Mississippi. The main characters were Chief Bill Gillespie, who was a tough but caring police officer, and Virgil Tibbs, an African-American detective from Philadelphia. They worked together despite the racial tensions of the time, showing unity and fighting for justice. In the Heat of the Night wasn't just any crime show. It talked about important things like racism, corruption, and unfairness. It showed the challenges of life in the South and made people think about their own biases. During a time when people were divided, in the heat of the night was a symbol of hope. It reminded people to be kind and understanding even when things were hard. The show was important for starting conversations about race and identity. Even though the show is over, its message still matters today. It showed that we can make the world better if we work together and treat each other with respect. In the Heat of the Night was a TV series that aired in the late 1980s. The show starred Carol O'Connor, known for his role as Archie Bunker in All in the Family. Interestingly, O'Connor's character in All in the Family lived in Forest Hills, Queens, NY, which was also where he grew up in real life. Don Corio, a college football Hall of Fame coach, was a college football coach at San Diego State. His nickname was Air. Mickey Rooney was initially considered for the role of Archie Bunker in the pilot of All in the Family, but he declined due to reservations about the character. In the Heat of the Night was notable for its portrayal of racial tensions in a southern town. Carol O'Connor played Chief Bill Gillespie, who often clashed with Howard Rowland's character Virgil Tibbs, a black detective. The show tackled various social issues, including racism and corruption, against the backdrop of crime solving in the fictional town of Sparta, Mississippi. Throughout its run, the series received critical acclaim for its portrayal of complex characters and gripping storylines. It remains a significant part of television history, remembered for its thought-provoking themes and memorable performances. In the early 1950s, he worked as a substitute teacher to pay his bills while trying to become an actor. He also did other jobs to make money because acting wasn't always steady. During this time, he got better at acting and teaching English. Later, he got famous for being in movies like In the Heat of the Night, but he had health problems that made him take a break from acting. Even though he got older, he still did different jobs in movies and entertainment. In 2006, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger picked him to be part of the California State Film Kamala Tradition. This was because he knew a lot about movies and could help make them better in California. He wasn't just known for his acting. He was also a teacher and mentor to many. His work in entertainment still inspires people today. Even though he's not here anymore, his movies and memories stay with us. And that's it from me. Tim Ware appeared in multiple episodes of the series, portraying various characters. In season two, he was uncredited in 15 Forever. Moving forward, he took on different roles, a banker in season three's Hello in There, a bounty hunter in season four's Bounty Hunter, and a lawyer in two episodes of season four, associated with Virgil Tibbs' firm. The Tan Dodge diplomat used as a Sparta police undercover vehicle in season seven, and eight was initially Virgil Tibbs' blue car repainted. Interestingly, it retained the DRA bumper sticker from its previous appearance. In the Heat of the Night was filmed in Covington, Georgia, the same town where the Dukes of Hazard was shot for the first five episodes. This shared filming location adds a familiar touch to both series. In the Heat of the Night, a TV series from 1988 featured Carol O'Connor in the role of police chief Bill Gillespie. Despite being from Chicago and living in California, O'Connor is buried in St. Raymond's Cemetery in the Bronx, New York. He's best known for his roles as Archie Bunker in All in the Family and as Police Chief Bill Gillespie. During the show, there's a photo of Rod Steiger behind the chief's desk, depicting him in costume as the chief from the movie. In the Heat of the Night started in 1988. The character Bubba, played by Alan Autry, never had his first name revealed on the show. Even when asked, he preferred being called Bubba. 
Autry began smoking during a stage production, but he quit in 1989 on doctor's orders. As the executive producer, Autry often invited friends and musicians to guest star on the show. He particularly liked having Gene Simulantrans and Bobby Short appear. Another friend, Lois Nettleton, had a significant recurring role in the early seasons. In the heat of the night aired in the late 80s, one actor who auditioned for the role of Captain Benjamin Lafayette Sisko on Star Trek Deep Space Nine also appeared in the show. Archie Bunker, a character from All in the Family, ranked 24 in TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time. He met his wife Nancy while both were performing in the play Life with Father at the University of Montana. Howard E. Rollins Jr., known for his role in A Soldier's Story, directed by Norman Jewison, who also directed the film version of this series, starred in In the Heat of the Night. The mayor of Fresno, California, in January 22, was serving until 2005. In this series, the title of detective isn't a rank. Rollins Jr.'s previous work with Jewison established a connection to the film adaptation of the series. The mayor's term spanned till 2005. The series clarifies that the title of detective doesn't denote a rank. It's a role within the law enforcement structure. This context adds depth to Rollins Jr.'s involvement in the series. His collaboration with Jewison before this series suggests a shared history in the film industry. In the Heat of the Night, a TV series from 1988, features a lead actor whose wife, Nancy O'Connor, pursued an art major at the University of Montana. He has two sons, Jason and Matthew. During his time at the University of Montana, he served as an associate editor for the college newspaper, The Cayman. In 1949, he resigned from his editing position in protest against the campus administration's pressure, which resulted in the confiscation and destruction of an issue of the paper. This particular issue carried a cartoon depicting the Montana Board of Education as rats gnawing at a bag of university funds. In the Heat of the Night debuted in 1988 as a television series. Chief Gillespie, a character in the series, always answers his phone with the phrase, Yeah, what? Before his television role, he joined a student theater company while attending the University of Montana. Additionally, he appeared in the film Cleopatra, which was nominated for the Best Picture Oscar. These details offer insights into the background and quirks of the characters within the series. In the late 80s, the TV series In the Heat of the Night was special. It had great actors, and some of them were related, like Hugh O'Connor, who was the son of one of the main actors. He being part of the show added extra interest because of his family background. Hugh, who is now at Fort Irwin, California, has done more than just acting. He's helped the U.S. military and also made training videos like If AK First Aid. This shows he's good at many things and cares about making a difference. There were other family connections in the show too. Heather Autry, the daughter of one of the stars, appeared in other popular shows like Grace Under Fire. Even the star's wife and son got into acting, leaving their own mark on projects like The Legend of Jake Kincaid. These connections show how talented and committed this family is. Their work has had a big effect on people, and it's something that will be remembered for a long time. In the Heat of the Night is a really important show in TV history. But it's not just about what you see on screen. The stories behind the scenes, with families working together and sharing their passions, make it even more special.